start? Uh, Simone Lee, Menominee Falls High School. So I guess just first your overall thoughts on the game, a 3-0 um, in sets over uh, Divine Savior Holy Angels. Yeah, I mean, it was su it was such a good game. Uh, we all came together. Our service was great. Abby setting was great. And we fi we got those kills that we needed in clutch time. And even in even in regular game time, we still made sure that we had to set the, pa um, the pass to set the kill. And we really just went off every single time, getting point after point after point. Even if we didn't get the uh, even if we didn't get the point right away, we still came together as a team, figured out what we needed to do differently, and got the point the next time. So we did a great job. It seemed like you had pretty much the momentum the entire game. Uh, what did you learn from this game, though? Uh, from this game, I guess I learned that one serve receive is key. Like it's a game of pass and serve because if you can't get a pass, you can't get a second kill. But I also learned that. Um, just coming together as a team, every single point, every single play, that really helped our team. I mean, um, even if we were down, we were down, uh, um, I think like three or two or something like that, and we still came together, we were like, hey, it's not even that big of a margin. Just keep pushing ahead, we gotta keep pushing, keep serving tough, keep passing well, keep setting well, keep hitting well, keep hitting where they're not, you know? And we definitely mixed up our shots, we mixed in some tips, we mixed in some hard hits, you know? So I think we, our team unity was really what helped us win this. Yeah, a really, a really big win against a really great team. Uh, how do you, how do you keep this momentum uh, going forth the rest of the season? I'm um, practicing. Uh, we'll get back in the gym. We actually have off tomorrow, so that's really exciting. But we'll get back in the gym on Thursday, and we'll just keep grinding away. You know, keep that service um, in lock, and then just keep on working with all the hitters, making sure we know what plays to run, making sure how we want to run a service every single time. So. Um, just practice, 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 because that's how we do. We need to practice like we play all the time. How do you think you played uh, individually this game? Um, I think I played well. Uh, it was definitely like a team effort, like I said, but I think like the setting was on point all the time. I mean, our passes were great, so the set could be great. And so I just think like I did well because our team did well. Uh, what are some strengths um, as a player for you? Um, as a player, I think my serve. I think that helps a lot. Um, getting out of tough rotation, getting them into their tough rotation, or just keeping them, um, keeping them on their toes, like serving uh, sidelines, serving short. You know, and I think that's a really big component on helping our team gain momentum. Like a big serve like that, I think it helps us really. Uh, it helps us a lot gain momentum. And then talk about your hitting. Anybody that comes to a game knows that you're going to put down a lot of kills <laughs> a game. So talk about your hitting. I don't know. I just think I don't know. I really like hitting, uh, but I think that. Again, like the setting needs to be there, and it was there all the time. And Abby's doing such a great job in setting, and I think that just the fact that I can trust her so much that I know she's going to put it, put the ball where I need it to be, is just a really wonderful thing that needs to happen. What are some areas of your game uh, that you hope to improve on going into play college ball? Uh, I really want to improve my blocking, just making sure I'm timing the ball right, and making sure I'm. Uh, pressing over the net a lot and also passing like my service team just keep that continuous. Uh, what are some uh, team expectations for Menominee Falls this season? We really want to make the state tournament. I mean that's our biggest goal but just to place very high in all the tournaments. I mean third or better would be awesome but definitely try to win all these tournaments because we know we can and we know that when we're playing our game that no one can stop us so just win, win a lot of tournaments and go to the state, uh, state tournament. Kind of transitioning to uh, recruiting and uh, club volleyball. What was your uh, experience playing club volleyball? Oh, playing club volleyball. This year I actually played for a different club. I played for Club Fusion Volleyball in Moringa, Illinois, and I had a really good time. I actually got to play with three of my team, or two of my other teammates that are also going to Penn State, Allie Franti and Brianna Weiskircher, and um, I had a really good experience with them. Brianna's a setter, Allie's another outside, so it really got a chance for me to get accustomed to all the hitting, all the setting, and just a different um, mindset of the game, you know? Fusion coach, Fusion uh, plays different than Sting, and Sting plays different than, like, Michigan Elite, you know? They all play, like, all clubs play differently, so I think it was a good change up for me. Uh, what was the recruiting process uh, like for you? Uh, recruiting process, I liked, I liked it. I know I went on, um, I went on a lot of unofficial visits. I think I went on like 12 or something like that. But, uh, <laughs> um, but I don't know. I like, I like the whole recruiting process. I think it gives a, a student athletes a really good opportunity to um, see different colleges, see what they like, see what they don't like, and I really think that with my recruiting process, it helped me choose with going to so many schools. It helped me choose the right school for me, for me which was Penn State. And then, yeah, you chose Penn State in the end, great Big Ten school. Uh, why'd you commit there? Uh, I committed there. Uh, coaching was a huge thing in the tradition, obviously. Uh, just the name of Penn State, it, like, rings a bell, like, oh, they're really good, you know? But I also chose there because they have really good academics. I would like to go into the sciences or some some area of that. So they have a really good science program, and I know that I can succeed both as an athlete and as a student. And then 
continue my career either in volleyball or go into the workforce. So I think I have a really good opportunity there. What do you like about the coaching staff at Penn State? At Penn State, I don't know. Uh, Coach Rose, he's he's firm, but he tells you how it is. He's, he doesn't sugarcoat anything, which I really like. I mean, if I'm doing something bad, tell me, hey, you need to get your arm up, or hey, you need to pass better, or something like that. You know, don't just say, well, you might get this next time, or anything like that. You know, just be really firm with me. And the assistant coaches are great too because they add a lot of laughter to the practice, but they're also very serious as well. Now, what do you like about the current Penn State team there and just kind of the campus and program as a whole? Um, I really like the campus. A lot. It's beautiful. It's mountainy and hilly. I don't know. I just think it's the best thing ever. But I like uh, the players there now are, are amazing. They're awesome players, and they always want to work after it. They always want to go after it every single time. Every practice, you see them working hard. You see them getting better. You see each and every girl trying to get their teammate better, you know? Yeah, and then um, just last, if you could talk about your experience playing for Team USA. You know, every time you made a big kill, the students were chanting USA. What was that experience uh, like for you? Oh, USA Volleyball. It was amazing. I mean, Thailand was just, it was a be it's beautiful. I loved it. But uh, just playing internationally, is so it's so different than what we experience in the States. And you really realize how important volleyball is to some girls, you know? You think of volleyball, oh, it's a recreational thing. But some girls, like, some sometimes, like, some girls, these pra girls practice for, like, six months. They practice for eight months, you know? We only got about two weeks to practice together as a team so I think our success there uh, great team chemistry the whole way and we just did a really we did a really nice job just making sure that we every single time we got every single play done you know